Welcome to Iron Radio. I'm John. And I'm Ken. And today we're looking at the brand new Secretus Alliance Fighter Pack. So let's go take a look at what's in the box and yeah, just jump right in. Okay, here we have it. We have the Separatist Fighter Squadron Pack. We already have it sliced open, so let's take a look what's inside. We have a bunch of cardboard, some rules, and then a packet of the fighters with the little blue ships. Here we have a list of the rules, which includes all the components. On the back side, we have a whole bunch of new squadron rules and the credits. Ken and I will go over the new squadron rules in just a moment. Now let's take a look at the cardboard that comes with it. We have all of our fighter um, pieces and dials, aces on the other side. And then a whole bunch of defense tokens. We have all the cards that Ken and I are going to go over with you in a moment. And while we do that, we will have displayed a nice look at all the squadrons. So here we see the Vulture class droid fighter squadron. This is the same card in squadrons that come with the starter box. It is very similar to a TIE Fighter. It has speed 4, only 3 health, and where it starts to really be different is the fact that it's a droid. It has the new AI Anti-Squadron ability, which says that um, if you're activated by a command, you're able to add um, a dice that's already of the same color of your in your pool to your pool. So it has a blue and a black for its Anti-Squadron, so if you were activated a command, you could add either a blue or a black to it. And then it has Swarm and a red anti-ship attack, which could be really good or really bad. So you get one uh, ace or unique squadron of the Vulture uh, droid fighters. This one is DFS 311. 18 points, and here's what you get. While you are defending... If the attack is obstructed, you may force the attacker to re-roll one die of your choice. That's kind of neat because you can, on the obstructed, you're forcing some re-rolls in addition to them losing out on a die. Uh, you also gain intel uh, with the vultures. Okay. St speaking of intel, intel now has changed in this release. The intel before gave all enemy squadrons at distance one heavy, which allowed you to move past them, through them, and attack ships. Now intel gives your friendly squadrons at distance one grit, which allows them to move even if they're engaged with one squadron. So this squadron costs 18 points. It also has the anti-squadron one and swarm ability. Its defense token suite is a brace and a scatter. So let's go into a new class of squadron, the Hyena class droid bomber squadron. That's a lot to say. Uh, we have uh, bomber and heavy, 11 points, moves at speed 4. You've got your two blue anti-squadron dice. And you get a new keyword, AI Battery 1. This says, while attacking a ship, if you are activated by a squadron command, you may add one die to your attack pool, of a color that is already in your attack pool. So basically gain extra dice to... Yes, so its anti-ship battery is a red, so you would be able to then roll two red dice mm -hmm. against a ship. Pretty good for 11 points. Yeah. And then it has um, a unique squadron, the Bactoid Prototypes. Um, it is the same card as the other one. It has a special ability. It costs 16 points for only five more points than the normal ones cost. It has um, a brace and a scatter, and its ability reads, while attacking a ship, if another friendly squadron with bomber is at distance one of the defender, you may change one die to a face with an accuracy icon. So where I see this being very useful is if you roll your two red dice with the AI battery one in, mm -hmm. and you get a blank and a double hit, you can just flip that dice right over to an accuracy, an accuracy, and now you have to take two damage. Or 
you have to take a crit. Yeah. It's really good for just punching in some damage. No, I'd agree. I, this is going to be a fun set of squadrons to play with. So we have another unique uh, Hyena Bomber. This is DBS 404. This is 17 points. And here we get, while attacking, if you are touching the defender, you may suffer one damage to add one die to your attack pool of a color that is already in your attack pool. So this is your touching squadrons, your touching ships. Uh, this would be great after you get overlapped by yes. a ship because then you're able to suffer damage and then add in an extra red die as an example. In addition to the AI battery yeah, so if you're activated. Theoretically, right. you can activate the squadron, move it into base contact with a ship, and then roll three red dice into it Yeah. if you suffer the damage. So it eventually kills itself, but you could increase its output substantially. I, I'm a fan of these, uh, these bombers. Let's move on over to, we'll call it their Interceptor class. It is the Droid Tri-Fighter Squadron. It is very similar to a TIE Interceptor. It moves five, it has three hull, it costs 11 points. It has Anti-Squadron 1, like the Vulture Droid. It has Counter 2 and Swarm. Its Anti-Squadron um, dice are a red and two blue. And then its anti-ship battery is a black dice. And we all know I'm a big fan of black dice for yes. consistency in attacking ships. Yes, you like those black dice. So I think this will be a good card for them. It is very similar to a TIE Interceptor, but is actually better at attacking ships. Yeah. Unless you have Sloan. Well. <laughs> so one of the unique squadrons for the, tri the droid Tri-Fighter Squadron is the Flak... Uh, Air Foc prototypes. Cost 19 points, same suite of, uh, of skill set, slightly different on the anti fighter because we're going from uh, two blues to blue and a black and then the red and both. But the special ability is after an enemy squadron ends its activation at distance one, that squadron suffers one damage. So this is kind of like a reverse mm -hmm. Mauler Mythal. Yes. Where you, when you get a squadron coming to engage you, you're suffering a damage. So it doesn't actually have to be engaged. Oh, it just has to be distance one. Yes. So he is hardcore area denial yeah. in front of your ship. So if you come to attack me, take a damage. Yeah. Um, and then he has a brace and a scatter and costs 19 points. Yeah. Our next droid tri fighter squadron is DIS T81. His special ability is your attacks cannot be obstructed. He costs 17 points. He has a brace and a scatter. He has anti AI anti-squadron 1, counter 2, and snipe 3 with swarm. Yeah, this is like a much better version of Saber Squadron. While we mainly are focusing on clone versus separatists, I see this card being very valuable against the Empire, and A-Wing Aces in particular. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got one final type of Starfighter, the Bell Belab 22 Starfighter Squadron. This is a bunch of stuff on it. So for 15 points, you get TIE Defender uh, Anti-Squadron, uh, so two blue, two black, and then a blue anti-ship. Has Relay 1, you have the new screen keyword. And what the screen does is it says... While you are defending for each other friendly squadron the attackers engaged with that lacks screen, up to three you may gain dodge one. So that essentially gets you the ability to uh, force reroll three dice when you're being attacked against. That's pretty powerful. So it's yes. going to be a hard ship to kill. Yes, it is. And then it also relays, which is kind of cool. Which is nice. Yeah. So. It's a very utility fighter. Mm-hmm. Powerful in utility. And, of course, instead of calling it the Bell Bibla 22 fighter, people are just going to refer to it as Grievous's uh, type uh, fighter. So the ace for him is General Grievous. He costs 22 points. He has double braces. And his ability reads, while attacking a ship or squadron with no ready defense tokens, each of your criticals 
icons add one damage to the total damage. So this is very reminiscent of Darth Vader yep. fighter. He has relay two, mm -hmm. and also that brand new screen ability. Basically, he's just throwing droids in front of him to keep himself alive, which is very grievous. Um, he upgrades his anti-ship dice from blue to black, and then he still has the um, two blue, two black for his anti-squadron, so it's likely that he can do six damage to that's a, a starfighter. That's a lot. Which, when you think that just straight out kills a defender or a Y-Wing, mm -hmm. it's pretty insane. So there you have it. That is the Separatist Alliance Fighter Pack. I am pretty excited to get these going and to paint them. I'm still debating how I want to paint them because throughout the prequel era, their fighters always change color. So mm -hmm. I have to figure out how much detail and how much time I want to spend to paint them. It'll be fun nonetheless. We'd love to see what you guys want to do in terms of painting up your squadrons. I know we'll have stuff on our Instagram once we get this stuff painted up. Uh, but I'm excited to do both face some of these and actually try them out because some of them look really fun and they've got an interesting twist to how they really work. Yes. And that screen keyword is, I think, by far the neatest. I think you described it best. Grievous is an example. It's he just throws, just throws the throws fighters in front of him yeah. to keep himself alive. So um, check us out. We have all of our social media links down below. Like, comment on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, because uh, why not? But uh, otherwise, until then, hopefully you enjoyed this particular wrap-up of what's in the fleet box for the Separatists. I'm Ken. I'm John. And you've been watching Iron Radio.